House today cleared for final action, perhaps tomorrow, the Senate-approved crime bill, which includes restrictions on certain types of gun sales. Senator Kennedy has long pushed for strong gun control laws. In campaigning last month in Oregon, he answered criticism from, them, from those who say such legislation would deny constitutional guarantees on the right to possess arms. What it requires is that when somebody purchases a gun through a mail order, or you send a gun or a rifle across the, a uh, state line, that you abide by the law of a particular state. All it does at the present moment, a person who's insane, a man with a long criminal record of having killed a dozen people can go in and buy a rifle. Now, if you think that, that makes sense for all of us, a person who's four years old can go buy a rifle now. A person who's six years old, a, a man in the death, and on death row in Kansas who had killed a half a dozen people, and if someone there sent for a rifle through the mail from Chicago for him to have a rifle while he was waiting on death row after killing people and the rifle was sent to him. Now, does that make any sense that you should put rifles and guns in the hands of people who have long criminal records, or people who are insane, or people who are mentally incompetent, or people who are so young that they don't know how to handle rifles or guns? I just asked you.